Hi, Quentin Rampage Jackson. Hey. We're gonna do some carpool conversation. How's that work? Let's, let's do it. All right, we're gonna have a little fun. What vehicle are we gonna take? Though? We have some choices. <sighs> we don't want to take the, the camp car. We use this for getting back and forth to the gym. Oh, we, we don't want to take this one. This will scare you. The Hellcat. It'll scare you. It'll scare you. The way I drive it. You've scared me before. All right, well, what about your big monster truck? Where's that? I was like, oh, the little Jeep. I gotta check it out. Monster oh. Energy, I mean, yeah, you that's know. your partner forever. Oh yeah, you know I love Monster. Yeah. Oh, that's pimp. Yeah. You got a ticket. Yeah, I got a ticket. I like parking on the sidewalks. Yeah, American Fastbacks made this Jeep right here, man. The sickest Jeep I ever seen. So we can take we can take the Rafe, we take the road. You got the keys for me? Oh, here we go, yeah. Like you... I'm driving, right? Oh, hell no. Nah. Come on. You ain't driving the Rafe. Come on, Come I on. thought we were tight. We are, man, but you know, we'd be tight on, with you on the passenger side. All right, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I got a question for you. Okay. I happen to think, in a very, you know, manly way, that you are better looking than Bradley Cooper. <laughs> no way. No, come on, that, I do. That guy gets girls drooling over him. Well, I, I know, he's, a, he's, he's hot. But my question was gonna be like, why aren't you still doing movies if Bradley Cooper's doing movies? Well, I've been doing like stuff in here. I I, I, do, I just did a movie with uh, Joe Carnahan. It was me and Rashad Evans and Frank Grillo and a couple of uh, people uh, was in there, uh, Mel Gibson. It wasn't a big part, but it, I had fun yeah. in there. And me and Rashad, we was German twins. <laughs> and then I just I just did like a little small movie with uh, my good friend Noel G. I, I, we call him we call him Hector because he you know he played Hector in a lot of movies. Yeah, he had me do like a, a horror film. You know, I, I got offered to do like um, sitcoms and stuff like that, but I just can't do it because you know I still love fighting and I want to do fighting while sure. I, while I can to my to my body time I can't and then I concentrate more on movies a lot I, it's a lot of movies I'm supposed to do that I just really couldn't do because of fights coming away and and, and I, I still audition here and there but I'm not great at auditioning so a lot of times I don't land auditions like I lose them to like The Rock or somebody like that nah he's not so Liam Neeson says, I have a very particular set of skills, yeah. skills I've acquired. I think that your skills are more dangerous than his skills. Yeah, I think that if I did like action films, like it'd be more believable. Yeah. Cause people are like, well, Rampage really could kick people's ass like that. <laughs> so that's why I, I, I really want to do more, more action films. Just, just because I'm a big kid. Like you can't really do that shit in real life. You really right. can't go and high, high car speed chases and beat up people and and shoot people. You can't do that stuff in real life. I like to play it and do it in video games. But if you can do it in a movie, like, you know, it'd be great. So honestly, um, what I plan on doing, like after I retire from fighting, I plan on like, just making like uh, my own like small budget films and probably like marketing them overseas or something like that. I want to rapid fire a couple questions at you, all, all right. right? All right. Who wins in a fight, you or Mr. T? Me! <laughs> <laughs> when we get home to your house, can I, can I get a chain? Yeah. Can I have one of your chains? No. Can I call you Q? Yeah. What motivates you to fight Vanderlei for the fourth time? Because he beat me two times to my one time. I can't sleep well with that. So you've had some great fights. You've had some very important fights. Where does this fight rank amongst the most important fights of your life? This is probably one, one of the most important fights of my life to me because like, I did everything said and done. You know, when we were both retired and, you know what I'm saying, moved on to other things and stuff, I can say that he don't have that over my head of him right. beating me two to one or, you know, whatever, you know? So you need to knock him out to really even the score? I need to knock him out to, to even the score. You need to knock him out cold, really. I need to put him to sleep. With you and with Vanderlei, there could be some real pure violence. Yeah. Because people always ask me, like, who do I, who are my favorite fighters? You and Vanderlei have always been two of my favorite fighters because of the anticipation of what could really happen yeah. inside the cage. Yeah, out of all three of our fights, none of them ever went Look the distance. They never went the distance. No. Um, do you expect this one to? I don't expect this fight to go the distance either. I would be surprised if, if Vanderlei makes it out of the uh, first round. Yeah. You're bigger than it. Way, way bigger than him. Yeah. He hits hard, though. Yeah, he hits hard. He hits hard. I can take a punch. And TKO win for Rampage Jackson. All right. September 29th, my friend. Yeah. Now here we are to train.
Well, yeah, it's time to train. It's not part right. Time to get yelled at by Tiki a little bit. Yeah, I wonder what Does he Tiki. yell at you? He tries. <laughs> I wonder what I wonder what he's gonna have me do today. That's what I want. Like yeah. I don't I never know what I'm gonna do till I get here. Really? Yeah, I, was, I don't know. I, I just know the days when I'm gonna spar this pretty much. Is that so, your favorite day? Yeah, I love sparring. Yeah. It's my favorite it's my favorite part of the of, the, of, the, of my job. I promise I get to try it next time. Yeah, next time. Right. Next time. You gotta spar me in now though. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs>